Hey guys, happy Xbox Series X day slash Xbox Series S day. Um, I just kind of wanted to just do a, like an Xbox kind of thing video, like showcase kind of thing. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, the original Xbox came out November fifteenth, two thousand one. I, on the other hand, I didn't get my Xbox until September of 2003. And, um, my first game, well, it was mostly a demo, was the, it was an issue of, uh, the Microsoft, um, magazine, and it came with a demo of Soul Calibur 2 on there. And, um, yeah, I got that through Blockbuster. But yeah, let's look. Let's go look through some of the stuff that came with it. But this this came out what a year after the Xbox original release, so November fifteenth of two thousand two. But I had that there because it's part of the Xbox. Um, and here is the original Xbox controller. I like how it is, and I think it's because it's nostalgic, and I like how it um um it looks. You know, and the packaging. I like how the packaging looks. Um, I do have my Xbox. I well, want my original Xbox, but I got one off eBay. And it came with the box. And it looked like it came from Seattle. And um, from originally from Seattle. And uh, it was not for resale. So I'm assuming that maybe a Microsoft employee might have had it. I'm assuming. Um, if not, I'll probably do, a, if someone wants to know more about it, I'll probably do a box, an unboxing of it. It has most of its inners. I went on eBay and bought uh, like the rest of the paperwork and stuff to kind of complete it except for the styrofoam it has like one of them which is still good it's better than nothing um but i do have my xbox the one i bought off ebay um it's connected to my tv so i can play some of my xbox games um yeah um let's see here uh i used to have one of these um when i was younger and I would have all of my games in it. And, um, yeah, I have a few games here and there. Um, so I do play those from time to time. But now that Tony Hawk's remaster came out, I've been playing that a lot on my PS4. But yeah, uh, and then the memory card. Remember that when they came with memory cards? And it was even weird. Because looking at this um, controller here, this is the Xbox One edition of the Duke. Um, has the bumpers and all that. I love this controller. I never had one originally. Um, but I do have this one here. I have a, an actual Duke controller. It's in a baggie. Um, I haven't really used it yet. Um, because like I said, I have my original Xbox, so I have it right here with the memory card. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, I kind of got to clean it up. Because when I got it, it's been kind of dirty, so. But, yeah. This one, it looks really clean. I took it out of the bag earlier. Um, so I might want to use this one day, but yeah. And then the controller. I used to have one of these. Because um, when I was younger, I was a kid, you know. I wanted to have every accessory that there was. Um, you can see kind of there. It's kind of chipping out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's cool to have this stuff. And then this. To get wireless for your Xbox. Um, it's kind of amazing to, to see such a thing. Um... But what's kind of crazy about this is that um, it I found this at a video game store uh, at the mall I, that's close to me, and it was there for years and nobody ever like looked at it and it's been it was in the same spot forever and then when I was like you know what I'm gonna start collecting this stuff and when I went and looked online for one of these I couldn't find one so I'm like well this must be my opportunity to go and buy uh, this Xbox One stuff you know you you probably could still use it but. It's probably not, you know, it's it's five times, it's five, it's 54 megabits per second. So, and I, this, I think this is broad, yeah, broadband network. So, 
but that might not work. But with this one, I had also I bought this off of eBay. Um, it's still brand new. It's never been open. It's a little busted up though, but it's still brand new. Um, I was lucky enough to get this, and I remember seeing this in, when I went to the like Walmart or even Circuit City or even Media Play. Um, and I remember going one year. What when it was when Halo Four was coming out. I had begged my my uh, parents to get me a sound system, and it was a Radio Shack or not Radio Shack at uh, Circuit City or maybe it was Media Play. No, it was Circuit City, and because uh, I had pre ordered the Halo Two from there because I got the special watch. Unfortunately, I didn't pre order the still book, but eventually my cousin gave me his. But um, yeah. Uh, I, there was another one of these that they had. It was just like kind of like what they did with for the 360. I wanted to get that one, um, but unfortunately, I was too late on the bid. But this one's still cool because it has a little flap, and you can actually see the the headset and everything in there. There was a person I saw on, on uh, YouTube who was reminiscing about his getting the Xbox or the GameCube or the PS2, and he went with um, the Xbox. And eventually down the road he went with the GameCube, but he had his original box, but his was pretty much damaged. And he said the price was, um, it was thirty nine ninety nine, I think, but they marked it up to forty nine ninety nine. But, and he thought that was a big rip off, but yeah, that is what it is. It's just so cool to just have all these accessories brand new and, you know, just to look at it and see the marketing of how they marketed it, the Xbox, the original one, way back when. Alrighty guys, this just want to do a little kind of reminisce of old Xbox stuff on Xbox Series X slash Series S day. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, dislike if you didn't like this video, comment if you have any memories of Xbox or PS2 or GameCube back in the day, or watching G4 um, back in the day. Alrighty guys, see you in the next video. Bye.